Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the last episode of the B side of the Dream Eaters campaign run with the Parallel Investigators. Uh, we are uh, ending the uh, Waking side run with Roland Banks in the Weaver of the Cosmos scenario. So this is the fourth scenario in the Waking side and there is still one um, scenario left in the Dreaming side uh, for skits to play after this, but uh, I played the last scenario with Roland and I am ending up with Roland on this side, then playing the last scenario with skits. Uh, then we will see how the two uh, campaigns um, end up together in the epilogue uh, after we have played the skits uh, scenario. But uh, in this scenario, we are uh, descending down the, uh, the Great Web into the lair of Atlak Natcha, but more of that later. Uh, we got 9 experience, uh, which is a lot from the last scenario, so let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and see the final upgrades to Roland's deck. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com, and uh, for the last... Um, Nine experience. I added two combat training level threes into the deck. Uh, this is a really powerful card. It boosts our combat and agility, and we can also pump resources to boost one of those stats up by more. And uh, it also works as a, a damage soak, but we don't want to put the <laughs> uh, sanity soak on this one. So uh, this is a really powerful card for a fighting guardian. Then uh, to make room up for those I removed the crack the cases. I haven't been playing those that much and uh, this uh, deck really doesn't need that much uh, resources. Uh, then uh, with one experience I added one defensive stance just because I couldn't think of another card at this moment that this deck needs. It's another skill card that boosts either agility or combat, which is good for some situations. Uh, to make room for that, I removed one perception. And uh, uh, last experiences I used to Hunter's Armor to get the Haunted for it. So it can soak plus two sanity. So it has two health and four sanity soak, which is good combo for the combat training. So that is the final deck. So um, I have found this deck to be really potent, so and uh, also playing parallel Roland with this setup seems like a really potent strategy, but we'll see how this uh, scenario finishes, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, so uh, we have laid out the scenario uh, because we have three marks on the... Um, or, or tally marks on the uh, crumbling bridge or whatever. We had to put one doom on the lowermost uh, location in play. Uh, then also when we flip this location, uh, it will uh, get a doom. So we have two doom in play. Uh, we have a threshold of seven plus two per investigator, so nine. So we have uh, six turns to get down there and uh, get past this uh, first agenda, which needs three clues but we can only spend them at the lowest point here. We also have the one uh, metal trauma in play, so that is that. So let's see how this deck goes and if we can defeat Atlak Natcha. So let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start. So hoping to see something that will help us to get this clue off of this location immediately and possibly a weapon. So, let's draw our opening hand and see what we get. Well, Field Agent really helps. Defensive Stance, uh, Flashlight, Scene of the Crime and Roland's 38 Special. Um, hesitant to keep the 38 Special. Well, maybe I do. Maybe I play the Field Agent just to get a running start in this scenario. And... Uh, I'm teaching the flashlights and the defensive stance, so we'll draw two more cards. 
well, runic axe and drawn to the flame. So we have a spare weapon, but I think we'll just play uh, field agent, get a resource, and uh, next round play the runic axe. I think that's a good good plan. If we get an enemy before we can play the runic axe. It is what it is, but we'll see about that when we get there. Okay, so first action, we will just play the field agent. Second action, we'll get one resource. And to remind, the runic has only cost three because of our uh, upgrade to it. And as a fast action, I'll take a horror, an exhaust field agent, to just grab this clue here. And last action will be to move down one step. Uh, it is another great web, um, web stairs. So, five shroud, one clue, forced. After this location is revealed, place one doom on it. So, a high shroud. But it is what it is. We have the field agent, so we will probably be okay. That is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another drone to the flame. Well, that is an option just to save the field agent and uh, get the clue with that. But there are two loca uh, clue locations, so I may be saving those for later. And we gain a resource. So that is the first turn. And we, of course, ready the field agent. Let's go to the next round. We add another. Uh, we add the first tomb, I mean. Uh, first encounter card of the game is Endless Weaving. Choose a spider enemy uh, in play. If it's engaged with an endless gather, it makes an immediate attack along with each of its swarm horse cards. Otherwise, place one doom on, this, on its location. If there are no spider enemies in play, search so encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and draw it. Shuffled encounter deck. Okay, um, I think we don't want a swarming enemy just yet. So, thinking if we get a web spider, so we move, engage it next round. Or we could just take a swarming enemy and hit it with, uh, well, those. Guys hit so maybe not. Okay, we'll pick the web spot a spinner. And shuffle the encounter deck. We will place this just to the next location. And uh, see how that works out. So it's here. No, no, here. Okay, uh, that's the encounter phase. Uh, first action. I will just play the runic axe. Then uh, we'll put some uh, tokens on it. Uh, I think I'll risk it and uh, play drawn to the flame. Why not? Well, we're taking a risk, so we get a swarm of spiders. Okay, well, swarming too, but we get this clue of, of this location. Then, uh, last action, we will hit the uh, swarming uh, swarm of spiders which is engaged with us. So we will use two um, charges from our weapon. This is to get the plus two damage for it. So we will defeat the whole thing by hitting it. Uh, we are hitting uh, four. 5 versus 1, so a good chance, so a minus 2, that's enough, uh, we'll defeat this, so 1-2 goes to the bottom of our 
check and this is defeated and that is our whole turn no enemy actions this at the end of the round adds one doom on it oh no onto the location well we need to deal with that next round uh, we are ready up we draw Randolph Carter which we probably won't be playing as that guy will just uh, betray us soon enough and we gain a resource so that is that round let's go to the next round we add another doom so now we have five of nine uh, doom encounter card is uh, sickening webs attached to your location it's a spider enemy at attached location gains retaliate and alert investigators cannot move out of the attached location uh, test uh, combat or agility three if you succeed this card sickening webs okay well that slows us down a bit uh, well should we do well we replenish one of these so we need to kill that next round but for this round I'm committing the 30th special to this test to uh, have a combat of six against three to get rid of the sickening webs Skull uh, is X is the highest amount of doom on a location you place. It is one, so minus one we succeed to get rid of this. That is our first action. Second action, we will move over here. It is the uh, prison of co cocoon. So four shroud, one clue, uh, um, force. After you enter this location, test agility three. If you fail, you must either lose one action, but for each point you fail by or place one doom on this location. Okay, and this is a loop, so we don't uh, engage it yet. But we need to test uh, agility. We are two against uh, three. Okay, so we'll just test this. Uh, we are. Uh, two versus three, so probably failing this. It is a minus one, so we fail, so we would lose uh, our last action, which we don't want to do. So we will just put the doom onto this location, and uh, last action, uh, we'll try to investigate. I'm committing Randall Carter to the test, and we have an investigation of uh, three, four, five, six versus two, uh, four, and it is a plus one. So last action, we'll grab this clue. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. Hunter's armor, gain a resource. Uh, this dude puts one doom here, but I think we just ignore and move on <coughs> because that guy will get uh, removed soon enough. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. We are at the uh, Six, uh, seven, eight of nine encounter card for this round is Ancient Evils. Well, god damn it. So we add a Doom that advances the agenda. Ah, uh, really bad luck. So, when this agenda advances, do not re uh, remove Doom from locations in play. Just double checking, so we had three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so that's enough. Okay, uh, fluff decks and shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck. That sucks, but it is what it is. We gambled and we didn't win. Oh well, it is what it is. 
hopefully we can still keep ahead of the encounter deck and the agenda from now on. But that is the middle space, so we are ready to go to the investigation phase. I'm just double checking. Uh, we can advance immediately when we get to the lo last location. So, not minding this guy here, so we first actually move to the bottommost location. It is a uh, tangled web force when the, the, when the investigation phase ends, if there is at least one investigator at this location, place one doom on this location. Okay, so that is the first action. And now we will advance, so we'll spend the three clues. There is two clues on this location, so I'll place them there. Okay, so... We get the Edge of Dreams. Read the scenario, interlude the Spider Queen in the campaign guide, then advance to Act 2A, Weaver of the Cosmos. Okay, well, uh, reading it without reading the plot text, uh, if Randolph survived the descent, the Black Cat knows the truth, proceed to Spider Queen 2, we got Spider Queen 2. If an investigator's deck contains Randolph Carter chained to the waking world, uh, remove him from the deck for the remainder of the campaign, so we can just remove him from our discard. Then skip to Spider Queen 4. Uh, assemble at Natcha by performing the following steps, uh, but I'll just do it because I have done it so many times. Uh, then uh, shuffle each set aside copy of spin Spinner in Darkness into the Encounter deck along with the Encounter deck discard file. Read the rules for Atlas Natcha. Well, I know the rules. And uh, then we make the play area for. So, uh, first off, we. Oh, yeah, we have to. We place the assembled Atlet Natcha in the center of the play area between all eight locations. So one corner of, uh, of each leg of Atlet Natcha enemy touches a different location. And then we shuffle the copy of the Spinner in Darkness. And then we start playing. Okay, so these locations are removed from the game. This stays... And this goes away, but we shuffle it into the encounter deck along with these two cards. Again, a bit lengthy mid-game setup, but uh, this campaign is famous for mid-game setups, which annoy some people and are not <laughs> video friendly, for uh, at least in my opinion, but it is what it is. Okay, and then we get the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 locations. Let's see. No, 7, so we uh, shuffle these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We don't need those anymore. Then we assemble the Web. Like so. These are connected to the one on their left and right, or however you want to read it. And then we get Atlaknacha in the middle. And we get these legs, so. I really care that much about the images. Well, I'll just put them like so because it doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, these legs are connect uh, are touching one of those locations. So I will be moving them around. Uh, I won't be spinning this around. I'm just moving the uh, legs like uh, 
like uh, one, two, three, four, and etc. So I'll spread this out a bit more. It's really a table space hogging campaign again, but it is what it is. So that is the setup done. Okay. And uh, then we continue playing. And um, the most important thing is that uh, we can't move the legs in any way. When we have to spin at Laknacha, we reveal one uh, chaos token and move it uh, clockwise, if I remember correctly. So when Mythos Phase begins, reveal a random token from the chaos bag if the modifier is negative. Spin at Laknacha clockwise. X times access the tokens negative modifier. That's the key point. Okay, so that was the first uh, action to move here. Our second action. Oh yeah, we uh, replenish this at the start of the turn. Uh, second action is to draw to the flame here. Just to get those two clues. And we get a web spinner which will put on this occasion here. Okay, that's good and we get these two clues. And... Uh, great. Last action, we don't want to stay here, so we'll just move over here. We get the Cosmic Web. Force route one clue, force after you enter this location, test uh, willpower three. If you fail, you must either choose and discard one card from your hand, or each point you failed by, or place one doom in this location. Okay, so we entered here. Uh, I'm not committing anything, so I am testing uh, three versus three. Well, it is an auto fail, so I'll just place clue because. We don't have that many cards to discard, <laughs> or we place a doom. And that is our turn, no enemy actions will... Oh yeah, this uh, damn leg hits us for one damage and one horror. I'll put the damage onto the field agent, we will be getting rid of that soon enough. Then uh, this poops one doom here, so we are at three doom of eleven. Okay, no other enemy action will go to upkeep, uh, combat training, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda, and counter card for this round is Obscuring Fog, so attached to your location, it gets plus two shroud. Well, it doesn't matter, we are using the field agent to get this clue, and actually before any of that we will see if the sp great spider spins, so we get an Elder Sign, so it is not a negative modifier. And now we can ignore uh, fight one of these, so I'm ignoring the fighting one. We want to just destroy one of these legs. Uh, first action, we will just... Uh, Exhaust and deal one horror to the field agent, grab this clue and uh, can also spend one clue, deal three damage to an ancient one enemy at your location as an action. But first we will just defeat this leg and I'll use two of these and uh, X combat X is the shroud value of the enemy's location. Okay, forget about that. We will spend one clue just to defeat this leg and save the axe. So this leg is defeated, it goes to the victory display. Second action, we will engage this enemy. Then we will use one charge to hit it. Uh, Skull is a minus two, but we are fighting with a uh, combat of five. So, yeah. Dealing two damage, so this enemy is defeated. 
we'll actually play the hunter's armor. And we will also put the combat training into play. I'm using this uh, tarot slot for it because I don't have another slot. And uh, that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw vicious blow. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Uh, we add a doom. We are at six. Uh, no, five of uh, eleven. Encounter card is endless weaving. Choose a spider enemy in play. If it is engaged with an investigator, it makes an immediate attack along with its former host cards. Otherwise, place one doom on its location. And uh, these are spider enemies, so we will place one doom in one location. I'll just put it over here. Oh yeah, and before we do that, we have to see if this guy spins. Always forget to do it at the start of the um, space. Zero, it doesn't, so we'll just place the doom here. So, um, this will be a quick turn. I'll just double move. So move. Uh, one shroud, one clue. As an additional cost to investigate this location, you must either spend one action or place one doom on this location. We just pass that location. Second action to move will go here. Uh, vast web. Three shroud, two clues. Action. If this is not act one and there are one or more of your clues on this location, move to the location directly across from this location, so it would be here. And uh, I doubt we are doing that. Last action. I am just uh, spending another... Uh, well, it's the Shroud of Three, so I think I'll last action fight. Yeah, this replenishes, so... I'm spending uh, two clues, uh, no, two charges. Actually, I could just spend one charge and the vicious blow, which is better. Uh, so, I'll spend one charge to imbue the weapon for plus one damage, commit the vicious blow. So, I am fighting uh, four, five, six versus three, and uh, dealing three damage if I hit. Uh, it is a plus one, so this leg is destroyed. And that is our turn. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw bandolier. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Uh, so we are now at uh, 7 of 11. Okay. Uh, we first spin the spider, maybe. Uh, minus four, so clockwise. Uh, this goes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that actually worked uh, in favor of us. Then we get an encounter card. It is Grey Weaver. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, uh, as our first action, we will play Scene of the Crime. And actually I'm doing it as a fast action, so we will exhaust that to pay for this. So we grab two clues. Uh, first action, I will hit... Oh yeah, this replenishes. So first action, I will hit this... Uh, Grey Weaver, and I am committing Let's count, so if it, that gives plus two, then I'll do another hit, okay, so committing two So we are fighting uh, four, five I forgot I have combat training, so 6 versus 4. So, 
uh, we deal two, uh, three damage if we hit. Okay, six versus four. Plus one again, so three damage. We'll hit again, and now we commit one. So six versus four. A skull, and skull is an axe is the highest amount of room on a location. So minus two, so this is defeated, and it is a victory point uh, enemy, so we put it in the victory display. Last action, I will uh, just spend a clue to defeat this one. So we only have one leg uh, remaining, so that's great. No enemy actions will go to upkeep. This ready is. So I fought twice and I did the action, so I didn't break the... You cannot fight more than twice. That's great. And we draw a card, a guts, and we gain a resource. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. We are at 8 of 11. Encounter card for this round is... Web Spinner. And uh, I'll attach it to the next location. Uh, okay. Uh, um, yeah. Before we decide this, uh, we have to spin the big spider again. Uh, minus one, so it moves once. That's great. We can just move there and defeat that one. Then we replenish this. Then we get this, so... I am just putting it here. So, first action, we'll move here. Second action, we will hit. Uh, no. I will uh, spend a clue to defeat it. So, uh, if four legs of Atlak Nacha are in the victory display, advance. Uh, flip Atlak Natcha center card over to its enemy side, place it at the location with the most doom on it. So it comes into play here. And it has four health on it. And we read it in a moment. So we are nearing the end. The uh, scheme's demise, so we can again spend one clue. Uh, deal 3 damage to an ancient one enemy at the occasion and force when the middle space begins to deal a random token from the chaos bag. If the modifier is negative, move at the Nacha clock twice x times. Access the token is the token's negative modifier and objective if at the Nacha is defeated, we advance. So this is the final act and uh, we read at the Nacha 4 fight, uh, 4 her help in her investigator and uh, 4 evade, massive, force, uh, and it is an H1 spider elite, force, when Atlak Natcha leaves a location, if there are no investigators at the location, place one Duma there, otherwise if it attacks its investigator at its location, and force, after you evade Atlak Natcha, instead of exhausting, you choose an investigator at your location, it cannot attack the chosen investigator this round. Okay, so we need to stay in front of it, so it will move to us, attack us once, and then we can just kill it. So we are not moving to its location. Uh, instead... Hmm... I'll grab a resource and just wait. So, I uh, know enemy actions will go to upkeep. We Draw a card, field agent, gain a resource. This guy hooks one doom here. So we are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll go to 10 next round and hopefully won't advance. We still have an another doom to go or ac uh, agenda to go. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. So we are at 10 of 11, and count card is the spinner in darkness, attached to the nearest ancient one enemy. 
Uh, that enemy gets plus one damage and plus one horror action. Uh, test any skill. If you succeed, discard the spinner in darkness. So Atlak Nacha just came a bit bigger, and before that, actually, we forgot to move it again. So it is a minus two, so it moves twice, but it stops at our location and drops one doom on this location when it's leaving. And then it hits us uh, before it gets this card. So two damage and two horror. I'll put, uh, put uh, one damage and two horror onto the hunter's armor and one damage onto combat training because I can't put anything here before this leaves play. And then the, it gets this, so it gets uh, plus one damage and plus one horror, but that doesn't matter. We will uh, get one token here. First action, we will boost our attack by two. No, we'll just boost our damage by three, so we are hitting for four damage. And we'll spend all of our resources to bump up the combat training. And I think that's enough. So we are combat 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 versus 4. Dealing 4 damage. And a plus 1. Well, ain't that sweet. Atlak Natcha is defeated and goes into the victory display. This gets removed. And we get to flip this over. So, falling down, we get resolution 1. Resolution 1 reads, um, In your camp log record, the bridge was destroyed. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns 5 bonus experience as they have prevented the dreamlands in reality from emerging. Uh, check camp log. Resolve the topmost option ap that applies. If the investigators found a way out of the underworld, skip the resolution tree. Well, we did. So we go to resolution tree. In your camp log record, the investigators return to reality. Each investigator suffers two physical trauma from their fierce fight with the spider god. If you are playing the web of dreams as a four-part campaign, the investigators win the campaign, but we are not. If you are playing the dream quest at the web of dreams as an interlocked eight-part campaign, uh, we still need to play where the gods well, and after that read the epilogue. But yeah, that was the waking side of the Dream Eaters campaign with uh, parallel uh, Roland Banks. We managed to nail this um, side of the campaign with uh, this deck quite hard. Uh, I think this was one of the easiest uh, runs of this scenario, at least for me, uh, playing through solo. So uh, you really need to uh, know what to do in this scenario to make it easy. So uh, always I tend to run clockwise because uh, the legs are chasing you so you don't have to change after them. And we got really lucky with the cards we got at the beginning. But yeah, this was the last scenario with the parallel Roland deck. So look forward to the final episode of this play series uh, next time when we are playing uh, parallel skits in the where God, gods dwell and try to uh, get a win from that scenario also to win the campaign but uh, this is the end of Roland and this side of the campaign so I hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time